Hello friends, I am Dr. Saptarshi and uh, I am a senior consultant practicing at Indraprastha Apollo Hospital, Sarita Vyar, New Delhi. So today we will be talking about thyroid disorders in pregnancy and this is a very very common situation. We see it very commonly in our clinical practice and there are essentially two major types of thyroid disorders in pregnancy. One is hypothyroidism, the other one is hyperthyroidism. So hypothyroidism means there is excess of, uh, there is deficiency of thyroid in the, in, the, in the body. So the thyroid gland, which is a gland situated near your neck, so that is producing less hormone and we need to give thyroid hormone from outside. So that is the most common situation we get in pregnancy. So somebody could already be having prior hypothyroidism and if, if she conceives what we need to do is we make sure that she maintains her TSH in the right level for pregnancy which is usually considered between 0.5 to 2.5 during the pregnancy period. In non-pregnant situation even a TSH value till 4 is acceptable but if somebody is having pregnancy we, we need to keep it in the in a, in a narrow range of 0.5 to 2.5 and this can be very easily done with adjustment of medicine so if you are already having thyroid you need to check your tsh prior to conceiving get in touch with your doctor as soon as you conceive there might be a slight increment in the dose of thyroid medication during pregnancy and if you are in close touch with your gynecologist or endocrinologist or physician who is monitoring your thyroid rep uh, reports regularly so it should not cause any problem so otherwise there can be multiple problems related to thyroid in pregnancy there can be developmental defects in the baby there can be delay, delay in uh, maturation brain maturation can get delayed so all these things can be there even the chance of miscarriage is also more but this can be very easily corrected treatment is very very simple it does not have any side effects if given in the right dose so don't get scared if you have thyroid and you are planning to conceive sometimes we get to see uh, thyroid disorders for the first time in pregnancy so it's in, in non normal situations we keep a tsh between one to five we, we that is how we mostly consider as normal but in pregnancy even with a slightly high TSH say 4 or 4.5 where we in, in non-pregnant situation in this case we do not start treatment but during pregnancy your doctor might ask you to start treatment with a slightly elevated TSH because that will be good for the baby so it does not harm the baby in any way so if you are starting thyroxine if your doctor has suggested that you need to start your uh, thyroid medication just because it's borderline high so it's it's more for safety so it's not going to have any major impact on the baby rather it's going to help the baby grow so you can be very very reassured that thyroid if given in the right dosage if monitored properly it will not cause any problem the other disease we actually sometimes face which is slightly rare is excess of thyroid hormone during pregnancy or that is called thyrotoxicosis even sometimes we have situations in the pregnancy where what we see is that the TSH level has gone down so that is actually a normal physiological response in some pregnancy very very rarely there are some situations where the gland is actually hyperactive is secreting excess hormone so there are tests antibody tests specific tests for that to confirm it so if we have a confirmation somebody is having excess thyroid related to a disease of the thyroid gland per se then again there are medications which can take care of that but and if, if you need to get in touch with your endocrinologist or physician he or she will help you to understand the disease and give the right medication and most of the complications related to hyperthyroidism in pregnancy can also be avoided so there are some other rare diseases like thyroid nodules which usually do not cause any problem again sometimes uh, what we see is that after delivery also there is a disease called postpartum thyroiditis there is a sudden uh, change in thyroid hormone there, there is a lot of fluctuation so all these things can be tackled very very simply by giving doing very simple test and giving simple medicines so if your thyroid report is deranged don't get scared 
so it has very simple solution it won't have a negative impact in the on the baby if you are getting the right treatment and getting the right test done thank you once again for connecting see you again very soon